What's up you guys, Flint EW here and today I've got another fire build for you guys except this fire build is going to use a different fire weapon than the previous fire build. This one will be using the weapon Cactus Air Gaze to start this build off. Let's check out our armor. Now that we're to armor, you can see that the armor that I chose is Primordial Malzino armor. It gives us Blood Right, Blood Awakening, Burst, Critical Boost, and Part Breaker. Blood Right says a portion of damage dealt is converted to health when striking a broken monster part. It further increases the amount of health you recover for each level. Blood Awakening says it gradually bolsters your attacks for a certain period of time depending on how much health you regain when landing attacks. It adds a bigger bonus increase of effects that bolster your attacks for each level. Burst says continuously landing hits increases attack and elemental attack. The amount of increase depends on the weapon. Upon attack hit, you temporarily get attack plus 5, element plus 5, and hit 5 successful times for a huge stat boost. Critical Boost increases the damage of critical hits. At level 3, it increases the damage dealt by critical hits to 40%. Part Breaker makes it easier to break or sever parts of monsters, and at level 3, it deals 30% part break damage. Moving on to the decoration slots. For our helmet, it gives us two 4 cell slots. For our boots, it gives us two 4 cell slots. And for our chest, our arms, and our waist, it gives us two 4 cell slots and a 2 cell slot. Moving on to the Curious Armor Crafting. Now that we're at the Curious Weapon Crafting, for our Augment, I chose Augment Stability for this armor. And if you look to the right side of the screen for the helmet, you can see that there's a green 1 cell slot. I chose to add a cell slot for our Augment. We're going to want to do that for the helmet, and we're going to do it for the boots. Then when it comes to the chest and the arms, we're going to look for Fire Resist and Ice Resist as much as we can. For the waist, we're going to try and turn our 2 cell slot into a 3 cell slot. Moving on to our Curious Weapon Crafting. Now that we're to Curious Weapon Crafting, let's go to our Cactus Air Gaze. And we should have Attack Boost Level 1 and Element Boost Level 8 equipped. Moving on to our Cells and Decorations. Now that we're to Cells and Decorations and our Cactus Air Gaze, it should be Tinderized Jewel 2, Blaze Jewel 1, Blaze Jewel 1. In the Rampage slot, it'll be an Element Bane Jewel 3. In our Helmet, it'll be Attack Jewel 4, Element Exploit Jewel 4, Blaze Jewel 1. In our Chest, it'll be Hard Steadfast Jewel 4, Attack Jewel 4, Tenderizer Jewel 2, and our arms will be Expert Jewel 4, Expert Jewel 4, Tenderizer Jewel 2, and our waist will be Critical Element Jewel 4, Attack Jewel 4, Critical Element Jewel 2, and our boots it will be Hard Satiated Jewel 4, Gobbler Jewel 4, Blaze Jewel 1, and our Talisman it will be Attack Jewel 2, Element Exploit Jewel 2, Blaze Jewel 1, and our Talisman itself gives us Critical Eye Level 3, and Teosha's Blessing Level 2. To show our end result for our skills, we should have Attack Boost, Critical Eye, Fire Attack, Critical Boost, Weakness Exploit, Critical Element, Stun Resist, Part Breaker, Free Meal, Blood Right, Element Exploit, Burst, Blood Awakening all maxed out, and Speed Eating and Teosha's Blessing should be level 2. That's it for the build you guys, and good luck out there.